There have been a lot of ups and downs on NCIS Season 15, especially with the loss of Abby and Reeves, but we've also gained some new faces that we have really enjoyed getting to know like Sloane and Casey. While we haven't seen a lot of Casey yet, we have had a chance to become closer to Sloane, as has Gibbs. And in the season 15 finale tonight we are going to get to know her even further when she faces someone from her past. Delilah is playing matchmaker and is setting up Sloane and a friend from Chicago, Ray Martin, on a date and all of our Gibbs Sloane, slibs if you will, shipping hearts just broke a little, but we can all hope that there's no love connection there. For those of you who don't see the chemistry with Sloane and Gibbs, there was a moment in this for you too when we saw Gibbs at Shannon's Gate bringing her flowers in memory of her birthday. She is never forgotten. We know that Sloane was held hostage and tortured years ago in Afghanistan and she has thought all this time that this person was dead, but now it seems that he is in D.C. While Sloane is on her date, which was going quite well, she sees the man that tortured her there and attacks him which of course ends any happy ending that Sloane and Ray were moving towards. He gets away, and she finds herself in handcuffs by the time Vance arrives to help her. Vance tries to explain that the man that tortured her was killed in a drone strike and that she never saw his face, but she will never forget his voice and she is positive that it's him. Vance gets her out of cuffs and sent home promising that they will go after him in the morning. The next day Vance starts with the restaurant to get any video footage or receipts from everyone that was there. After running facial recognition they figure out who he is and he's a humanitarian under the umbrella of diplomatic immunity. Sloane asks Vance just for the opportunity to hear his voice again to make sure and he finds a way to arrange it. During the interview with him Sloane loses her cool especially when she smells his cologne and now is convinced that this is the man. After playing a recording of the voice to another surviving member of Sloane's team it's clear that he is still alive and under protection. Seeing Gibbs and Sloane bonding over their past was something we were really touched by. Sloane shares what happened to her and that she thinks once this man is dead she will be able to sleep well at night but Gibbs explains that after he shot the man that killed his wife and daughter he didn't feel any better and still aches over it. Her talk with Gibbs doesn't stop her from wanting him dead and when this man charters a plane to leave America, Sloane heads out to the airfield to get her revenge. Gibbs gets there in time to stop her, but the plane was a decoy and this man is gone but he's not alone. He's taken Vance as a hostage. Carter Matt verdict we have really enjoyed the Sloane character, and Maria Bella was incredible, if you haven't seen her on Goliath you really need to check that out, so we were happy to have some of the loose ends to her character tied up tonight. We saw her scars at the beginning of the season and we've known that she was tortured in the past and is still trying to find balance with her PTSD. So having an episode all about Sloane gave Bella a chance to exercise her acting chops. What did you think of the NCIS season 15 finale and did you like the season overall? Leave us a comment in the box below with your thoughts. If you want to stay up to date with all of our NCIS scoop then be sure to join our official Carter Matt Facebook page.